little Foley work for you. I have been recording for a minute. I haven't done anything yet. Alright, so in today's video what I want to do is I want to show you how to simulate a three-phase circuit in LT Spice. This is the circuit I'm going to work with. What I have is a balanced delta-delta connection. The principles that I show you in this video will apply to either delta or Y connections, but I wanted to use delta delta for this example. A B phase voltage is 330 angle 0 degrees. My per phase impedance is 20 plus J 377 times 0 0.01. That tells me that in each phase my resistor is 20 ohms. It tells me that omega is 377 radians per second, which corresponds to 60 hertz. And it tells me that my inductor is 10 millihenries. Okay, let's open up LT Spice. You'll notice that I'm using Mac. It turns out that most of this is actually easier to do on Windows, but on Windows you may not get the plots you look for. You may instead get a table with operating points. I'm gonna show you two different ways to simulate this circuit. The first thing we need to do is we need to add our voltage sources. I'm going to rename each of the voltage sources by right clicking on them. The next components I wanna add are my loads. To help my brain understand what's going on here, I'm going to rename the resistors and inductors based on the correct phase, pulling this up just by right clicking. I'm going to add the values in in a little bit. Next thing I want to do is I want to wire this together. Once I have this wired together, I need to add ground, so I'll type G for ground. I'm specifically wiring it to the bottom of the A phase because that's my general reference phase. The next step I'm going to take is that I'm going to give the impedance their values. Okay, I have two steps left that I can take. The first thing I want to do is I want to choose my simulation command. Like I said at the outset, I'm going to do this two ways. Add the SPICE directive. I'm going to start with doing .ac. This is going to do an AC sweep. I'm going to choose a linear sweep. I'm going to have one point and I'm going to range from 377 radians per second to 377 radians per second. If I'm choosing to use an AC sweep, the source value has to be AC. So I'm going to actually right click on the source itself. If I click advanced, that brings me here. Now this is a little confusing because we actually have an AC source, but it's called a style DC value. I'm going to click off of make this information visible on the schematic, and then I'm going to add an AC amplitude and an AC phase. My AC amplitude was 330, my phase for the A was zero degrees, and I'm going to click and I'm going to click make this information visible on the schematic. Hit OK. Let's do the same thing down here. So why don't we go ahead and run? One thing we might want to find is the different phase currents. Now the way that I define this is I want the current that goes from A to B and then B to C and C to A. But the way the LT Spice is doing this is that it is directing the current in the wrong direction. So I'm going to have to change the sign just of the B to C. The C to A seems to be fine. So I'll right click up here and I'll choose negative. The last thing that I should be doing here is I should right click on the left hand side and I'm going to change it from a decibel to a linear scale. What I should notice is that every single one of my currents has the same magnitude but the phases are different. You'll see that the phase for CA is at about 70 degrees. The phase for AB is going to be about negative 50 degrees. They're separated by 120. And then the phase for BC is at negative 170 which is about 120 degrees separated. Okay, so the next question is, what if I don't want to do an AC sweep? I can change my SPICE directive to be a transient. So let's do dot .tran. And since these sources are at 60 hertz, I'm going to do 120 milliseconds. If I want to use a dot .tran, I'm going to change these sources to be sinusoids. So I'm going to right click on the source. I'm going to change it to be a sine. And I have a zero DC offset. I have an amplitude of 330. I have a frequency of 60 hertz, zero time delay, zero theta, and zero degrees phase shift. I'm going to remove the AC amplitude. I'm going to change this so it says that the top information is visible on the schematic. And I'm going to repeat this for the other ones as well. All right, now I have all of my sources changed to signs. What I want to be able to do is run 
but what I'm going to get is an error. It's going to tell me that these voltage sources are in a loop. To correct this, I need to add some series resistance. Now this is slightly going to change my result, but if I make the series resistance small enough, it will barely change it. So to fix this, I'm going to click on each of these sources. I'm gonna come down to where it says parasitic impedances, and I'm gonna make this series resistance, let's say 0.001, and I'm going to make this information visible on the schematic. I'm gonna do the same thing for my other sources as well. Okay, now this will let me run. I want to choose, let's say the current here. It's going to plot it as a sinusoid. It's not gonna plot it as a value, it's gonna plot it as a sinusoid. And so when I correct the directions, I can see that I definitely have a three phase system. I could do this same thing with voltage if I just want to see what the transient response looks like. Okay, that's everything I have for now. Hopefully, this helps you to know how to simulate three phase circuits in LT Spice. Thanks for watching.